Good morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, and we are at verses 14 and 15 today. And he was casting out a demon, and it was mute. So it was, when the demon had gone out, that the mute spoke, and the multitudes marveled. But some of them said, he casts out demons by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. So you've heard that saying, right? It's not a scripture, but you know, you can't please. You just can't please people. Here was Jesus casting out demons. He's working hard. He's working day and night. And here he is. He's casting out a demon. And uh, it's, it's successful. The demon goes out. And the mute person speaks. And everybody's amazed and excited. But there are people there waiting to invalidate everything that Jesus says and does. And what do they do? They try to pin it on a work of Satan. He casts out demons by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons. He's, he's, he's working. He, he's really a charlatan. He's really a fake this isn't really true. So there you always have people who are going to complain and moan and, and uh, whine. And instead of seeing the, the positive, they're going to see the negative. And these people are liars. They're working against Jesus. How, how do they know? And, and Jesus is going to reason with them. We'll see it here in the next morning or two. He's going to show them that, no, they cannot be that Satan casts out Satan. So here is a wonderful thing our Lord Jesus is busy working, and we shouldn't listen too much to the, the naysayers and the grumpies and the, and the whiners. Just we need to make sure that we're not a naysayer or a grumpy or a whiner. Have you been a grumpy sometimes? Let's pray that that won't happen today. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for hearing our prayers as we seek to become more like Jesus. And now, Lord, as we look at this, we see a case where Jesus has just done an amazing thing. He's delivered, delivered a, a fallen human person from demon possession and yet the, the agents of Satan are trying to wipe this thing down and, and put the wrong picture with it. Lord, bless us and help us to not listen to the whiners and not be a source of whining, but to trust in the Lord Jesus. Lord, this is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, may the Lord's blessing be with you today, and don't be a grumpy, all right?